Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And now my question of today is, do you guys love or hate XRP? A lot of you guys in the comment section say, yeah, man, I like that coin a lot. Talk about it more, yada, yada, yada. But a lot of guys say, man, if you talk about that coin one more time, I'm going to unsub. So today the question is, do you like it or hate it? And whatever you guys say, I'll take it all into consideration and you know, maybe I'll adapt my videos to it. So put it down below. From Leonidas, the first tweet, Ripple launches pay ID invoices and subscriptions demo page. And he wrote a whole article on that on the XRPRK.com, which explains exactly what happened here. But if I'm not mistaken, today was the official conference for pay id and thus a couple of really crazy things must have most likely come out there which we're gonna be seeing over the next day or so a week after going live with pay id ripa has launched a web app called chef xrp that demonstrates the power of using pay id in a subscription check flow checkout flow on a test network and again you, you, you can read more about it over on here Developers inspired by this demo can sign up for the PID Hackathon, where there will be over $25,000 in prices as well. And again, if you're a developer, this is where you need it to be today. But there will, of course, be more, which you can join if you want to, to make yourself some money. You know, And if it's possible to make some money with something you love, then do it. All right. Another tweet, which is really interesting, came from Martin Falk. He said, Working Money Channel. Just watched your latest video and wanted to give you some food for thought. Why cash out? Why don't you just stake it and live of the interest? Staking 100,000 XRP at an XRP price of $25 with a 4% interest rate would give you $100,000 a year to live off of. And by the way, if you are enjoying these daily crypto videos, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe because I do my best to provide you guys with the most interesting crypto news i can find and learn about on the internets so just to show you some support support is really really appreciated but all right to this tweet i have a couple of mentions that i i need to do so first of all make sure you go ahead and check out my second channel called dusty finance because i have two videos posted on there to kind of increase your financial literacy and what i mean with that is i understand the road to financial freedom is one a lot of people want to you know, uh, take a lot of people want to get onto this road, but it can also be a really, really difficult path. Because if you're working in 95 right now, how are you going to get there to where you don't need to go to work anymore? You can just, you know, flip the finger to your boss and get out of that, you know, <laughs> get out of that place without any real big consequences, of course, negative ones. Well, I've explained more about that on that channel and even here on this channel through the XRP retirement process and just uh, crypto retirement processes and all that type of stuff. And basically one thing it always concludes is that you must, you must, you must make sure that there is always a way to still receive income. And I've often explained why capital accumulation, which is of course the first first phase of wealth, which is the wealth accumulation, is a very important phase. But the most important one is the maintaining of that wealth or capital. It doesn't really matter which way you use there. And for the, you know, for remaining that or for the keeping it, the maintain it, you need some sort of percentage every single year. And one of the easiest ones to go for is the S&P, or in this case, maybe an XRP investment and whatnot. But you still need to always consider investing into something to make sure your money doesn't become worth less. And that is really, trust me, guys, something you got to think about. And I believe that's also why Martin here said, maybe stake your XRP. Because if you get 4% off of 2.5 million, I believe, maybe that's $100,000. Just a quick calculation. You just do it on your own uh, if you want to you know, make sure it's all correct. I don't give a shit. Let's say, for example, that's two, two and a half million, 4% of that is $100,000. Well, that's enough, way more than you will ever need in one year to spend. It's most, it's way more than most people get. And I personally said you can retire with a million dollars. Here puts it at 2.5 million with 4%. I say you go for um, 1 million with 4% a year, which is about 30,000, wait, 1 million, it's 40,000, of course, three and a half thousand a month. And you will go for maybe S&P. 
uh, or maybe you know some other investment like XRP or something where you can get a guaranteed return of about 7% because you're going to need that. Because 4% is to cash out, 2% is, I guess, against inflation, and 1% is kind of for tax slash increasing of capital. It depends on what the tax is in your country and, and place, but you, you'll still need to consider that as well. And of course, you don't want to just go up with inflation. You want to go up just a teeny weeny bit more so you're in a better position each year, which is what the, you know, maybe like 0.1% or 0.2% is going to be for. Having said that though, again, it's something you really consider, really put down for yourself, write it out, but don't go for staking companies if you don't have to, right? Go for official things which you can just put your name on and you know is going to be good because we're talking about millions possibly of dollars here. We should don't want to leave it to the hands of a company that can just leave at any time, especially a, a vague staking company. Don't put too many eggs into that basket. XRP ILP says, I have insider information. A friend in Ripple, we'll call her highly secret, she told me that Ripple has a set price for XRP in September 25th of 2020. That's when it's all going to happen on 25 September 2020. XRP will be $500. Now, I don't want to say it, but if you believe this type of stuff, you're a you're a, you know, you're 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 something. You're a special type of person, maybe a special ed type of person because this is really 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 stupid. If you believe that really guys, please, even if 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 even if it's an insider, even if First of all, I don't know what type of insider would tell you this type of information. And if you share that type of information, you're the biggest douchebag in the world. This insider goes through a lot of trouble to circumvent the NDA to tell you. And you publicly post it on Twitter. You're a douchebag. That's one thing. Because you should keep this information to yourself then. Uh, un unless she has allowed you to do that. But I, I don't think anybody ever would. Second of all. N not even Ripple employees, not even uh, this, not even Brad Garlinghouse can say whether or not the price will be five hundred dollars. And also, just think about it: they have fifty billion of those coins. If XRP is five hundred dollars per coin in uh, the next couple of months, well, I don't know how much that would be, but that's a ton of money. <laughs> that's basically just that. Just you calculate it for yourself. But they'll definitely be the best company out there ever. Uh, in, in terms of you know worth they'll have a their company will be worth so much it's not going to be possible but all right you just do you if you believe it you do you go to special ad class and uh, you know leave my videos alone sorry if that you know hurts your feelings or something but really i just find it really ridiculously stupid if you believe that type of stuff and i don't respect that at all all right so xrp hold here david swartz on moneygram odl mention it it being a test now, it seems like ODO usage is heading to zero. Are the tests done? And what's next? So, as I said before, I can't open the videos here on the MacBook. I don't know how it works, but the sound doesn't play. I need to install some type of things. But I also then need to put in headphones, maybe, which will make it all more difficult. But, yeah, the, the volume is going down significantly right now. And it, some are saying that these, the, these volumes that we're going around right now are just from the MoneyGram tests and are not really the vinyl results or anything like that. And basically what I fetched from it is we don't really know what type of volume is going to be coming up because if MoneyGram was just a test and they weren't really using it just quite yet, it was just testing it out and they've decided to, you know, fulfill it afterwards as well, then it might be that these volumes are going to be 50 times higher or something like that because, well, if you're testing it, you're not going to try full capacity, maybe for one day, but not really in the end because you're testing you don't know if you want to use it yet, uh, unless you're trying to test the the maximum it can do. But I don't think there's really a maximum. So you're only gonna you really use full potential once once it's coming at the end. You know, once it's really getting somewhere, and, and that's what I'm what I'm thinking about. John McAfee calls XRP worthless and claims that MoneyGram does not use it. The XRP community has proved that MoneyGram does use XRP since they're Ripple's ODL partner. So this clearly shows that you're really uneducated, basically. Uh, or no, wait, 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 let's see. The XRP community has proved that MoneyGram does use XRP since day, day one, whatever, since they're using Ripple's ODL partner. So this clearly shows how uneducated John McAfee is about Ripple and XRP. Well, he has a certain point. It's not worthless XRP. We all know that it has a pretty big use case already. 
MoneyGram might be testing it, like is said in a couple of other tweets and talks, which again, might be a little bit of a thing. Um, however, I don't know the full full story to it all, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know really whether or not this was all just a test, whether those tests were done like months ago already, when this video was taken, or what it is all from, I don't know. But even if it's a test, even if the test is done now, I mean, it can't be that they didn't like it, right? And Ripple's also got a stake in MoneyGram, so I, I can't see them not using it, but that's just me. Need a podcast to binge? Blockstar spotlights top blockchain innovators to discuss trending crypto topics such as sustainability. Good one to watch. Make sure you do that. It is really, really worth it. Really crazy stuff. David Schwartz is the goat of anything crypto related. See all, hear all says, you kept your eyes on the prize. On this day, XRP $2,000. Congratulations. This account will terminate at midnight. May God bless you all. Um, I don't know what to say about that type of stuff. Again, I don't really think it has any legitimacy to it at all. What is it supposed to say? I don't know. Why do people like this type of stuff? I don't know. I don't know, but it's there. The IMF discuss DLT experiments with payments and settlements, list projects using XRP, but no mention of it, has no problem listing other blockchain projects, and I'm wondering what that is all about. That is very, very small here. It's almost going to be impossible to tell exactly what it is about. But yeah, they've mentioned it, but again, list projects using XRP, but no mention of it. I don't, I don't really know exactly why that is going on right now and, and here then or what exactly they're, they're thinking. But yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just putting it up there for if you guys can fetch something bigger from all of this. Uh, X Coin Block says from the IMF news document, they also mentioned Bitcoin, but uh, DLT and Bitcoin, R3 Corda, Jeopardize, but no XRP in it at all. Hmm. Zilliqa is mentioned. Yes, I saw it at the bottom right. So here's Zilliqa. Crazy. MoneyGram rolling out payment system in Asia. Are Rip on XP ready for launch? Again, a big question I have, but I can't answer, so this article will do me no good. And last but not least, Ripple plus token returns massive liquidation on XRP and EOS. Almost a year after being shut down, the plus token scammers have become active again, as we saw before. And according to Thomas Silkier, CEO and founder of Explorer, the XRP were sent between 6,500 accounts before they went to exchanges for liquidation, which is a pretty crazy thing, but hey. Guys, my laptop is going to go berserk again with the heat because it's 20 or 30 degrees outside or 29 or 30. And thus, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care and have a very, very nice day.